All right, we're going to begin our look at Crossroads, uh, the Eric Clapton version with Cream. This is a Robert Johnson cover, and uh, it's going to consist of uh, really kind of a repetitive 12-bar uh, blues uh, riff, which they kind of call playing through choruses. And then we're going to take a look at a couple of uh, epic solos that he does in this song. All right, so let's get right into it. Uh, the intro section um, is going to be kind of like this. Okay, so let's kind of work through that. We have a little little uh, intro solo there towards the end. So we're going to start out here with this kind of little uh, bluesy riff, and we're going to start with the A note that on the second fret on the third string, open, then back to the second string, and then a quicker open in second. So look at this. One more time. Then back to the open string. You want to come over with your second finger at the third fret on the fifth string and play that note and put a slight bend on it. Not a full bend, just a slight, just to kind of accentuate the note a little bit. And then we go back to the open A on the fifth string. So, so far we have this. And let's do that again. All right, so we do that twice, and then we do pretty much the same rhythm, but instead of doing this to start, he plays uh, a little dyad that's, that's uh, basically implying an A major chord, and that is going to be put your second finger, I mean your first finger across the second fret on the second and third string. I like to hybrid pick these, so I'm, uh, I'm picking this with my middle finger and ring finger down here in the picking hand, but you can just hit both strings with a pick as well. So what he does here, he goes, he picks the, uh, those two notes, then hits the open string, third string, and then back to those two notes. So we have, so instead of, we got, and the rest of the riff is the same, then back. So, so far we have this. Then we come to this D7 little picking figure that he does. Um, here's the pattern. So it's pretty simple. We're going to hold a D7 shape. Um, it's going to be your second finger, second fret, third string. First fret on the second string, and then second fret on the first string. And we're gonna have this fourth string open. The picking pattern is gonna hit the fourth string twice with two downstrokes. Then come to the second string and hit that with two upstrokes. And then come and hit the third string with a downstroke. Kind of mutes this too, so maybe touch a little bit of the back of your palm here in the right hand. Then you can hit an upstroke on the first string, then go down up from the second, I mean third string, to the second. One more time. Down, down, up, up, down, up, down, up. Then reach over to the third fret on the fifth string. Do that little slide bend again. And then go straight back to the D7. So we got. Now the pattern here is going to be kind of the same, except for instead of going. Instead of hitting that second string. See how when we started it, we're going to go still start on the fourth string with two downstrokes. But now skip to the first string and hit that with two upstrokes. And then the rest of this. 
just kind of do it like he's kind of keeps it kind of a messy sounding so it's kind of a random picking pattern after that just kind of start it like that down down up up and then just do something like down up just something like that no. then back to the three back to the same riff that we did at the end, beginning of the song and then we take it down to this E so that is just open E and then it's octave E just kind of a simple little down kind of like a, kind of a random pattern on that one too he's just kind of using that as a lead a little to, to set up his little solo lick. Now here's a little intro solo lick that he does. It's gonna be So what's going on there? We have um, we're gonna take this slide from the fifth to the seventh You don't really hear the five though. It's kind of a slide straight into the seven. You don't hear it as two notes. Then five seven on the fifth string, uh, fourth string, and then you come to the fifth fret on the third, and a slight bend again. Once again, just to kind of accentuate the note, not to really change the pitch. And then we have the third uh, finger at the seventh fret on the fourth string. Then we have a pull off from seven to five on the third. Come over to seven on the fourth string. Back to that five on the third string. Slight bend again. And then hit five on the third and then seven on the fourth really fast. So all together. They want to continue. So this is a, a lick you'll see a few times in this song. Start with the fifth fret, the third string, hammer on to the sixth. Then we're going to take uh, this uh, slight roll across the fifth fret on the second string to the first string. All right, then going from there, pull off from eight to five on the second. Pick seven on the third string, and then back to the five on the second. Then we're gonna bar these the, the fifth fret at the second and third string, hit that, and then hammer on that uh, sixth fret on the third string again. And then play the third fret, I mean third finger at the seventh fret on the fourth string. So we have this. Then we're gonna slide from five with your second finger to six on the third string. And then play the first fret the first finger at the fifth fret, second string, and then end it with the third finger at the seventh fret on the uh, fifth string. All right, then we get to the uh, the choruses, the 12 bar progressions, and um, it's kind of similar to what we did in the beginning. We're going to start with this. Now what I'm doing there is I'm just holding an A power chord, open fifth string, and then the second fret on the fourth string. And you're gonna hit that twice, really muted, very muted. You can barely hear the actual notes, it's so muted. Okay, so muting in the back of your palm here. Um, down strokes, and then play the four on the, the fourth string. Still with the A in the, played along with the open fifth string. So we got that. Pretty simple, then move it over. Two string, uh, one string down. And now we're playing the D version of that. 
And then you're going to end it by hitting this A and then go, go back into that main riff. So we have this. Then back to the D. Then take it down to the sixth string and fifth string version of that. So it's down to E now. Pretty simple stuff. Back to the D. All right, so uh, we have a pretty simple thing. So here's the whole section. repeats okay all right now let's take it we're gonna skip here so that's pretty much what's going on during all the vocal parts um, uh, between the solos and now we have at the very end of the song we're gonna skip to the very end after the second solo he goes back and does another uh, through the 12 bar blues to, to the 12 bar progression and and he's gonna have a little bit different ending here so I'm gonna act like we're playing through this rhythm after the solo. So when he's coming back to this D, right there, at the, the very last time hitting this D, he just hits a D7 chord, which is going to be open fourth string, second fret on the third string, and then first fret on the second string. Just hit those three strings and kill it. All right? And he finishes his last vocal line, and then he has a little um, guitar fill here to, to end the song. So we have this. All right? That's a weird chord to end it with, I know, so we'll get to that. So we have now, so after this, the very last licks in the song are uh, this uh, second fret, third string, pull off to the open string. Now we're going to do that twice. And then grab the second fret on the fourth string. And then hammer on, hit the fourth string open. And then hammer onto that two, and then roll your finger over and pick the this two on the third string twice. So so far we have come back to the fourth string, pick it open, hammer on, pull back off to the open, and then the, the bend at the third fret on the sec uh, the fifth string. So all together, now that's an A7 chord here, and that's just going to be a bar at the 5th fret, and you're going to pick, and you're going to have your 3rd finger at the 7th fret, 5th string, and then your 2nd finger at the 6th fret on the 3rd string, and then you're going to pick all the way across to the 2nd string. Then we have kind of like a free time uh, little guitar lick. And all that is is five, six on the third string, five on the second. Then we're gonna do that a pull off from eight to five on the second string. Then we're gonna have a seventh fret on the third string. Then 5th fret, 2nd string, roll over to this 3rd string and at the 5th fret and do a hammer on pull. Hammer pull. So you're going to pick the 5th, hammer on 7, 
pull back off to five. So we have this. And then this seven on the fourth string. Then pick, reach over and grab seven on the fifth string. Slide it, start sliding it down the string and then this last chord, which is kind of a, it's got a low E in it. It's, it's kind of like an inverted A, uh, second version A chord, but um, it might have been a mistake on the recording. This is live. So, but anyway, here's what it is. It's just open E, uh, sixth string, open fifth string, and then the seventh fret on the fourth string. So yeah. Okay. So that's it. So now it's time to tackle the two epic solos in this song. So I hope you have fun with it.